Hey, Amy. Hey, sis. How's Tinseltown? Hmm. Do you really want to know? Is it warm? <laughs> Again, do you really want me to answer that? Yeah, good point. It's minus two degrees here, Celsius. It's below freeze again. <laughs> hey, look, I would love to chat, but I've got to go to work in like two minutes, so can we speak later? It's okay, I'll be quick. <laughs> I'm getting married. Come again? Harry proposed. We're getting married. On Christmas Eve. Are you pranking me? No, um, I'm being serious. Feel free to express joy. No, I, sorry, there's just a lot to unpack there. Uh, Christmas Eve? Yeah, two weeks. Which brings me on to my next question. Amy. Ems, I need you as a sister, but also as Emma Taylor of Ems Planner Extraordinaire. I need some context here. You and Harry have been together for like a year. Congratulations, Amy. I'm so excited for you. I'm packing my bags right now. <laughs> hey, you know I'm happy. If you're happy, I just... Why the rush? We're in love. It's romantic. Look, I stand by both of those things, but I will explain everything when you get here. Just please say you will get here. I've never even been to the UK before, and now you want me to get on a flight to a new place where it's snowing and plan your will and wedding in like two weeks? Don't make me play the maid of honor card. up to 300 emails this morning. 300. Did you know that Christmas is the busiest time of the year for events? Well, how can I forget? You remind me every year. So not only did I have to go through those 300 emails, but I also had to tell all of our current and potential clients that I'm deserting them at the most important time of the year so I can fly across the Atlantic because Amy decided to get married in two weeks. Amy's getting married? Oh, that's so exciting! Is it exciting? Yeah! Or is it impulsive? You know what Amy's like. I mean, I love her. She's amazing, but... Emma. I know, I know, okay? But this is classic Amy. Just act first, think later. Listen, that's your opinion. But what matters is that you should be there for your sister. You know, for a half-sister, she drives me completely crazy. Well, it's about time you went to England. They've come to L.A. often enough. Wait, are all of our Halbrand hotels based in the U.K.? I've been trying to get them as a client for months. I mean, they're exactly the type of big client that we need. Well, yeah, their HQ is there, and Oliver lives in London. This is perfect. If I can get him to come to the wedding, he could see my style, my ability at first hand. Yeah, well, if anybody can put a wedding together in two weeks, you can. Is he gonna want to go to your sister's wedding, though? I mean, it, it is kind of weird. Hey, an event's an event. Are you sure you're going to be okay without me? I've pinned all of the clients who have events this week and color coordinated everything that still needs doing. With the emails, I swear I'm going to be fine. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Oliver, I'm just following up on our call. It's Emma Taylor. I just touched down in the UK um, for that event on the 24th. I would love it if you could come so I can introduce myself properly and to see if we can do business together. I look forward to hearing from you.
Come on, my friend's eyes. I did get a cab to the cottage where you live, where we were supposed to meet. Sorry, I got inspired and I wanted to come down here and start working on a new idea for a candle range. And you couldn't do that at home, saving my feet and my sanity in the process? There's just something magical here that helps me get in the zone. Look, come and sit by the fire and I'm gonna make you a hot chocolate, or as you would say, a hot cocoa. That'll warm you up. <laughs> hey, welcome to England. I'm gonna have to ask you to pay for that. Uh, what? Why? I, I, I didn't even drop it. It's still in one piece. Even so, there'll be fingerprints all over it. I don't know what the policy is in the US, but here in England, touching a product is as good as a promise to purchase it. Well, I don't actually have any cash on me, uh, but this is my sister's stall, so I'm... Wait, are you... Sorry, I heard the accent and I couldn't resist the classic fish out of water prank. This is from Amy. She got distracted talking to a man selling scarves. So sent me over with this for her sister, who I'm really hoping is you. And you are Harry. A Dylan, Amy's business partner. Well, sort of. Huh. I would have thought with the love of pranks, you were the spontaneous wedding partner. There you go. Does Amy want me to have a heart attack? Well, I'm very glad to hear she's feeling better. I'm so sorry. Did Dylan give you a hot chocolate? I got distracted talking to Larry. Hey, Larry. Amy, my toes are about to fall off. Can you please not get distracted long enough that we can find an actual heater in the actual indoors like our original plan before you abandon me to the cold? Yes, of course. But did you drink the hot chocolate? Because that should have warmed you up a little bit. No, I did not drink that explosion of sugar. Or should I say eat it? It was way too substantial to be a drink. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You're delusional. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's enjoying it. At least not what not. Emma, this is Dylan. We've met not Harry. No, but he is Harry's best man. Let's try this again. I'm Emma, I'm Amy's half-sister. Pleasure to meet you, Emma, the half-sister. <laughs> okay, let's get you home. Let's get you warm. Yes, please. Bags. We need yes. bags. Yes. Bye. got down on one knee right in front of the Eiffel Tower. It started snowing and honestly, Emma, it was like something out of a film. That does sound amazing. When you know, you know, right? Well, I mean, I definitely don't, but yeah, that's what they say. We didn't want to wait to have the wedding. And Christmas is our favorite time of year. And it means the whole family can be around. And we want something beautiful, but intimate. Something really special, you know, like, if you could bottle up the magic and spirit of Christmas and just sprinkle it on everything. That's what we want the wedding to feel like. But Harry's an accountant. <laughs> and even though Amy's an artist, neither of us really know the first thing about planning a normal event, let alone a wedding. So I thought we'd bring in the big guns. The big guns being me. Bingo. But we know it's a lot, so Dylan's on hand for anything you need. Amy said you two met earlier at the Christmas market? Oh, yeah, yeah, we met briefly. Now, he's a great guy and I'm still working in London until the 22nd, so I'm only around at the weekends to help out. I'm just so glad you're gonna be here for Amy. I know having a sister around right now means everything. Mm-hmm. Could you make us a drink, Harry? Sure. Hot chocolate, extra cream and marshmallows. <laughs> sure, thank you so much. Don't hate me. 
I have to ask you this because I'm your sister and I love you. You're obviously dying to say something. You're 26, Amy. You have your whole life ahead of you, and I can't help but feel like you're rushing into this. Like, I know you're creative and free-spirited and sometimes a little impulsive, but I just, I just need to be sure that you're not going into this for the wrong reasons. Marriage is a big deal. So here's the thing. I love Harry so much. I literally can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him. I get that. But and I'm pregnant. Um, I, I'm so, so happy for you. I know that you've always wanted to be a mom. I just, I, I just don't see why that means you have to get married. I know I don't have to get married. I want to get married. The our family isn't exactly traditional. And you can say that again. I always thought I would do things in a more ordered way, you know, get married and then have a family. Amy, you're like the least ordered person I know. I mean, don't get me wrong, that terrifies me half the time, but you should know better than anyone that there's no right way to do things. I mean, okay, sure, we don't have a regular family dynamic, but that never stopped us from making it work, right? Mom and Dad don't actually know yet, and I would really appreciate it if you could just keep it between the two of us just for now. I want the focus just to be on the wedding. Of course, I but... I... One hot chocolate for you. Set up stall, but help yourself. No, here we eat actual food. If I'm wrong, but isn't the idea to sell your wares to the general public and not ice them away from your stall? Is that why you needed me to buy that glass ball? Look, I really don't need... <laughs> oh, I get it now. You're grumpy because you look like a small child that's been forced to wear an outfit that's stolen from their parents. Uh, has anyone ever told you you're, like, really funny? I'm not so good with people. That's Amy's job. Which gets harder with every hot chocolate she drinks and every subsequent toilet break she takes. Oh, it makes sense. Why? Does hot chocolate have an adverse effect on one's bladder? Never mind. Um, I'm actually really glad I ran into you. I hear you're on hand for wedding prep assistance. Great. Okay, first things first, we need to tie down the venue. And then we need to send out the invites tomorrow. I'll obviously need your steer on that because I don't know anyone around here. Then we'll look into the order of events. I mean, do we want a three-course meal? Do we want buffet catering? Or will canapes and champagne be okay? I mean, that's even before we've gotten into the details of the decorations, the speeches, the gifts, yes. Have you put any thought at all in what Amy and Harry actually want? What do you mean? Well, this is all very... soulless. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. I've arranged some of the most high-profile weddings in L.A., okay? Everything here is exactly as it should be. It's very important to me that this goes well. Fine. 
to be your silent go for mom. Wait. Okay. First order of business, the venue. Let's go. I better check Amy will be okay without me. Oh, great plan. Actually, she said that we were going to meet with Dad, Lucy, and their mom. Megan. Uh, right, at the pub. Sounds fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it should be. Come on then, Batman. Batman? Yeah, Batman and Robin. With a killer wedding planner. Yeah, I don't love that. Sherlock and Watson? Who? I'm kidding! Come on! This the kind of thing you had in mind? Are you kidding me? This is insane! It's perfect! Do you know the owners? Yeah, actually. My parents. Seriously? Do you think they'd let us use this space because it's exactly what I was picturing? It's okay. I don't think we'll need to ask them. We'll be okay to use it. Are you sure? Yeah. Sure, no problem. And I know Amy and Harry love this space too. Well, I can see why. It is perfect. Good job, Watson! Okay, what we're gonna need to do is map out this entire area so that we know what we're working with. Chairs going down there, dance space over there. Oh, maybe a grand piano here for the music. And then obviously we're gonna have to try and figure out a place to do the speeches because you can't have that in the same room as the ceremony. Ah, uh, Dylan, this is perfect. <laughs> Hi, uh, Hi, Squirt. Hey, so good to see you. <laughs> no premature frown lines from overworking yourself. Um, that is good. Uh, that's only because they have very easy access to Botox in LA, Dad. Oh. Hey, when you get to 30, you'll be begging me for the good part. Not on my watch. Hey, Lucy. Come on, Squirt. Give your big sister a hug. Oh. <laughs> so you do have limbs, huh? <laughs> Two arms and three legs. Very long legs. How tall are you? I'm 1.3 meters. It's four foot three. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, when I was small, Dad used to mark my height on a wall. He <laughs> does that with me, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, you know what really used to annoy me? Stop growing up so fast. Oh, God, I hate it. <laughs> I wanted to grow so bad, and I thought that Dad was actually slowing me down by saying that. <laughs> <laughs> what a lucky man I am. All three of my girls together. <clears throat> Four girls. <sighs> and I'm just so happy to finally meet you, Megan, officially. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Mom? Emma. I, Emma. Mom. <laughs> Hi. It's very <laughs> lovely to meet you. So, Lucy, what are your hopes and dreams, your goals and ambitions? Um, why have you never been to England before? Oh, uh, well, I have a business and sometimes it gets a little busy. Too busy to come and visit? Ever? Uh, you know what? You're right. I should get better at that. Oh, Dad, I'll just have the same as Lucy. Thanks. My mom, wine buddy. Are you feeling all right, love? Hey, you know what? Dad, I will take Amy's as well. Hopefully it will send me to sleep. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Emma, Oliver Hall Brand. Oh, hi, Oliver. It is so great to hear from you. Just a quick call to let you know that I would be delighted to attend her event. Yes, that is so great to hear. I will see you there. See you there. Okay. Now this is more like it. I don't know what you were trying to feed me yesterday, but it was so gross. Oh, you tried the black pudding then, huh? What is that? You don't want to know. It was so great to finally meet Lucy. Oh, she's so sweet. Meeting you is literally all she's talked about since Saturday. I feel so bad I never met her before. Oh, it's okay, Em. We all know how busy you are. I'm just glad you're here for this. It means the world to me, you know. So you'll be okay by yourself on the stall if I steal Dylan today? Of course. I'm so sorry. I forgot that Harry wasn't going to be around and just 
don't overdo it, okay? Emma Taylor, if I wanted to be babied, I would have told mum and dad already. Pregnant or not, I am perfectly capable of running a Christmas market store by myself for a day. Okay, gotcha. I can't help it. I don't get to be the overprotective sister very often. And what do you have planned for today? <gasps> well, that's for me to know and for you to get excited about. <gasps> Good timing. Thank you. I have a question for you. But I was Sherlock. Can I ask my question? Shoot. How comes we never met before? Well, unless you'd been to LA, we wouldn't have. So you've never actually been to the UK? Your family's here. Amy? Peter? My dad, yeah. I live in LA with my mom. Amy lives here, and I just never made it over before. Dad and Amy come to LA once a year, but actually I hadn't met Lucy until last night. She was always in school when they visited. So Lucy, she's your... Half-sister too, yeah. Obviously a lot younger. We don't have the typical family layout. And you've never met her? Well, we FaceTimed a ton, but not in real life, no. I'm just always so busy with work, you know, and never really made it over here. Also, you know, it's kind of nerve-wracking being the American sister who's only ever existed on screen. <laughs> Can I offer a word of advice? Family's family. No matter how typical or atypical it is, you shouldn't let that pass you by. You know what? I think we have everything we need here. I think we should head back to the cottage and see what we should do next. Okay. Sure. This worked beautifully at a wedding I did in LA. <laughs> okay. Explain to me why I'm needed again. Hey, don't put yourself down. You've been a very useful gopher. Well, clearly you're better suited at planning every single detail by yourself. Oh, no decent events planner would try to do everything by themselves. It's impossible to host a good event solo. And it takes a team to pull off something like this. A team, huh? So, am I allowed an opinion on anything that might involve what Amy and Harry would actually want? Absolutely not. Figured. No SOS calls from Amy. What is your role in her business, exactly? Well, believe it or not, I do actually love arts and crafts. Hence all the decorations in the hall. My mum always used to encourage me to focus on what I love to do. But my dad thought a business mind was more important. So, I help Amy's business, uh, run the Christmas markets, Whoa. I... Wait, you run the Christmas market? Like, you own it? But you can't even talk to the customers. Yeah, thanks for that. I like to give the community a chance to connect over Christmas, but... Well, I'm always running scared that someone might actually ask how I am, and... Well, I'll have to actually tell them. I totally get that.
told you how amazing it is to have you here. Yes, Dad, you have. Love you. So, where's Lucy? Oh, she didn't want to come. I don't understand why she's being so coy. She was so excited to meet you. It's fine, you know, it's going to take a while for me to get used to it as well. I'm going to grab a drink. Either of you want anything? Let me guess. Hot chocolate. And the American coffee. Ah, I bet you'd never ask. Ooh. Today was insane. I have never known it, Miss Lizzie. Oh, that's so great, Amy. How's everything been going on your end? All good. It's invite day tomorrow. Oh, have I told you how much I love you? Do you want these invites to look like someone just threw them together? <laughs> I think you need to be some kind of professional graphic designer to do justice to this image of yours. Look at this. Classic, simple, effective. Sure, it's a little rougher on the edges, but at least it has a color palette. Can I offer some pointers? If you must. So for the wedding itself, you've got this gold, silver, cream, white theme going on. I think the invite should reflect that, but with a handmade touch, that feels like Amy to me. Yeah, but, uh, not too handmade. With a smart edge. That feels like Harry. Maybe we should get the others involved. If Lucy and Megan can make some stencils, Harry and Amy can come up with some font styles and any picture elements they want, and you can focus on getting the structure of the invite sorted. And what would your role be in all of this? Guest list. Got it from Harry. I'm gonna make sure we have enough wedding invites. Wow, you just got everything worked out, don't you? You know it, Watson. I'm sorry, did you just demote me? Okay, I guess I'm calling in the troops. If you can relinquish control for that long. I can try. <laughs> Exhausted. I'm glad we could help with the invites in the end. Did they all get posted? Signed, sealed, and delivered. Where's Dylan? More importantly, where's Harry? Voila! <gasps> Did you bake those? Em, he's been gone for like ten minutes. <laughs> Alas, these are supermarket's finest, but I thought the tray and the apron would sell it more. <laughs> I could totally bake these if I wanted to. Oh, sure you could. Oh no, it's true. Dylan is, in fact, a master baker. <gasps> Invite making, cookie baking, <laughs> any other hidden talents? The name game. What is the name game? <sighs> OK, uh, right, um, uh... Rasputin, some kind of bearded guy. Charles Darwin! Charles Darwin, no, no, uh... <laughs> Spiders! Yes! I said it first! No, Charles, what? Oh, on that note, I think it's time that I go home. No, Harry just texted. His train got delayed, but he'll be here any minute. Oh, I know, I know. But it is getting late. No, oh, I shall thank you for the hospitality. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll uh, show you out. Well, condolences on your first name game, boss. Say I lost exactly. Maybe you should stick to buying cookies and passing them off as your own. So I guess I'll see you later then. See you later.
happening to you too. And? There was a talent show emergency. Talent show? Yeah, we do this talent show for the kids in the village every year, last Sunday before Christmas. Just a bit of fun. Oh, I love things like that. Can I help plan it? Uh, it's actually not really your style. It's very last minute, slapdash. Hey, I can do last minute. It's actually only for people in the village. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I'm, I am, um, I'm just passing through. Right, I've got to take Lucy home for a bit. She's so excited about the talent show, girl. Are you okay to man a fort for a while? I'll be back in about an hour. Of course, we'll sort the invites and then deliver them when you get back. You're back. So, serious question about the cake. I'm thinking maybe like a Christmassy Victoria sponge or like maybe even a gingerbread cake. No, you're right. Totally right, too cliche. Okay. Hey, you know, your input here is invaluable. I really need it for this. Wow, you really did get out of the wrong side of bed this morning. I just got a lot to sort out for the talent show. Yeah, which is why you should let me help out. Chocolate cake, it's Harry's favorite. See, this is why I need you. You'll love it is. Afternoon. Do you know everyone here? Unfortunately, it's everybody else who knows me. Oh, hello. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, Gerald. I hear preparations for the talent show are going really well. My granddaughter can't wait. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. That is what we do it for. Well, let me know if I can help out. Well, if you need it. Actually, there is something you can help out with. Um, I'll give you a buzz. Ah. Emma Taylor, is it? The one and the same. Thank goodness you're here. Your dad speaks of nothing else. Always telling us how proud he is of his daughter from the States and how amazing it will be when she finally visits. Well, we'd better get going, Gerald. We've got a lot of invites to get out for Amy and Harry's big day. Actually, oh. um, here's yours. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. For what? Ending the guilt trip. If it wasn't for your sake, we do actually have a lot to do. What? All I want is a mulled wine. <laughs> I would kill for a mulled wine. I thought your hot cocoa obsession was well and truly taken over. And I had to listen to Lucy sing all morning. Oh. <laughs> do I sound awful? It depends. Are you being dramatic, or do I have to prepare myself for this talent show? <laughs> no, I think I just did overtime. She's actually pretty good. So what's the deal with Dylan? The deal with Dylan? Yeah, he's kind of up and down, and I just wondered if there was a story there. May I ask what has brought on this interest in Dylan? Oh, well, it's just I've had to spend all this time with him because I'm planning your wedding. Oh, touche. Just as an event planner who likes to focus on the story behind the event, I don't know, reading people's kind of my thing, and that guy is so hard to read. Like, I can't tell if he's a jerk who sometimes has a personality change, or if he's a really nice guy with grumpy tendencies. Like Mr. Darcy. Oh, you're so painfully British. <laughs> well, Dylan and I grew up together. He's actually the reason I met Harry. No, okay, focus. More story time, please. <laughs> So Dylan's ancestors originally led the village. We don't have anything formal like that now, but his parents always took pride in the responsibility of doing things for the people who live here. They lived up in the big hall, and they were like the beating heart of the community, in a way. But not anymore. Dylan's parents died about five years ago. It was incredibly difficult for Dylan, and he tries so hard to keep up do all the things they used to do for the village. But I don't know, I, I don't think his heart is really in it like it used to be. Sometimes he's the deal he always was. Sometimes he retreats into himself and sometimes all the hurt and the heartbreak manifests itself into this general jerkiness. 
Oh, damn. So glad I can drink mulled wine. Oh, hell yeah. Rub it in. showed me this place. Why? It didn't seem relevant. Are you okay with having the wedding here? Absolutely. Honestly? You really want me to talk about this? As the person in charge of arranging this wedding, I need to be sure that the owner of the venue isn't gonna freak out the day before. Every Christmas I used to put the Christmas decorations up with my mom every year. When they died, I couldn't bring myself to stop. I know I should move on and maybe even sell this place and let go of some of the traditions I have with them. Having the wedding here is a good step towards that. I wish everyone would stop worrying about what they should do. I thought that was only a problem I had. You seem pretty good at dancing to your own tune to me. No, oh, that's Amy. Amy's the creative one, the free-spirited one. I'm the workaholic, by-the-book, square one. I think you have more in common than you think. This isn't about me. Are you really okay with this? I promise the events planner part of your brain that I won't freak out. And I promise the other part of your brain I'm okay with it. It's good enough. Good enough. Let's do this. Served pint of local ale. Come on, in one bite. I don't know, you did say it had a head. Yeah, but no teeth, I promise. I can just about manage a bottle of beer. I have no idea what that is. It's a speciality. Oh, lucky for you. Now you have two. Should be here soon. I'm in no rush. You okay? You seem a bit nervous. Oh, I'm fine. Fine. This is gonna sound so stupid. Shoot. I've just always felt like the other sister. From the other side of the family. From the other side of the world. Even the way Lucy isn't sure how to be around me like I'm this unknown entity. Even though I'm her sister. Megan's not my mom, and even though Amy and I share a dad, and it's not exactly normal, they actually do have this perfectly formed, separate family unit that I'm just not a part of. I think that's why I never came to England before. I never truly felt like I would be welcome. It can be nerve-wracking. Hey, look, I'm sorry I made you feel unwelcome with the talent show. No, no, it's fine. I totally get it. For what it's worth, I think you're incredibly brave. Being vulnerable is terrifying. Two aces. 
Oh, cheap? <laughs> already? We didn't oh, oh. So, no, so bad at this already. Some people learn the hard way. Oh, 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 oh,
Broadway level show they've got going on over there. Hey, where's Lucy? I think she took the opportunity to sneak a hot chocolate, but didn't hear that from me. Your dad would be so proud that you kept this going. Oh, straight in there with the emotional hits this morning. You know, just because I overshared last night doesn't mean you can do that to me. Oh, now you're here, you can actually help me with the running order. I want to avoid as many dubious renditions of Mariah Carey as possible. Do you think you can cast your expert eye over there? I thought you'd never ask. Oh. Now, is this the right place for getting one of those popular table mats? What colour can I interest you in? Oh, um, which one would you recommend? Well, I wouldn't ask this one. She has an aversion to anything handmade. Bit of what's wrong with her yet. Rude. I think the silver one would look so elegant on a Christmas table. Yeah, but the red is so much more homely and cosy. And definitely more festive. Totally agree. But on Christmas Day, do you want the same homely and cosy feeling you have every other day? Or do you want a touch of luxury, a little extra glamour that you only get once a year? It's, it's a good point. But I would argue if you want that kind of luxury, you could go into London. The beauty of a Christmas in the countryside is that festive warmth and coziness. You know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your toes and all that? No, he's nipping at your nose. You know what? I think I take both of them. <laughs> you two make a good sales team. Thank you. <gasps> now I really want some chestnuts roasted on an open fire. Come with me. Just showing me these now. I mean, I didn't look at you and instantly think chestnut fanatic, mm. but clearly I was very wrong. Hey, Come sit here, Ames. Oh, honestly, Mum, I'm totally fine standing. Don't want to stand for too long, though. Why? <laughs> My legs are working perfectly well. <laughs> you know. I just thought, what? Everything okay? Yes. I'm just fussing too much, apparently. I'm fine. Well, we were wondering what everyone's plans were because there's a whole Yule log back at the cottage that needs eating. Sounds great. I'll stay here, look after the stall. <laughs> A hat, an iguana, a jug, a kite, and um, I'm gonna buy a leopard. You can't buy a leopard at a supermarket. Oh, but you can buy an iguana? <laughs> Your turn. Okay, I went to the supermarket and I bought a hat, <laughs> an iguana, a jug, <laughs> um, a kite, a leopard, and a mouse. Okay, this is getting out of hand. I think we need a new game before we turn this place into a petting zoo. Uh, I know! Dancer! Oh. Oh. I'm gonna spare you all my dance moves. Oh, I will challenge you, Lucy. Oh! oh. You ready? Shall we go? Oh. Oh. And the twist! Oh. And the twist! Can you stop that? Got Ems? Oh, goodness! <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, well. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to try harder than that. Oh, I would love to see you try. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, come on, Dylan. No. We know you've got the moves. Let's go, Dylan. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chan. I'm gonna take this. No, don't leave now. Show us your winning dance. Stunning. Check it. Beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Okay. Hey, what's up? There's now even more snow predicted for the night of the talent show. Some of the parents have withdrawn their kids. It's okay. We'll figure something out. We're a team, right? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go on back to the dance off. You coming? Uh, just one second.
so much. Okay, so we'll make some adjustments. Everyone is going to find out how I'm going to look ridiculous in a dress that doesn't fit me. Amy, breathe. That's why we came here first, just you and me. Maybe you're right. Maybe this whole wedding is a mistake. I'm rushing into it, and I don't need to. Should I just call it off? You love Harry. It's obvious you can't wait to marry him. This is your day. It's not about anything else. I'll just tell them. Tell them when you're ready. Lucy is still so young. How is she going to feel about being an auntie when she's only nine? Dad and Nina had you when they were so young, and, and look how well that turned out. They're still friends. We're two halves of one family. And I, I, I just don't want Mum and Dad worrying about that happening with me and Harry. You know what I think? I think you have an amazing family and a bonus sister. And that no matter how this works out for you, it's gonna be better than good, it's gonna be grand. Because that is how you live your life and you're incredible for it. So, how are things going with you and Dylan? Amy, are you serious? A word I just said. I'm sorry. I just thought while we were being open with each other, I might as well go in for the kill. Same. Today is about you. It is not about me. I will not be taking questions at this time. Go. Get back in there. Try on a different size before you burst out of that thing. Oh. oh. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I would offer you some, but, um, it's been a long day. So. I assume Amy's been staying off that. Oh. Uh, you don't have to say anything. I have a mother's instinct, but I know that sisters have a different relationship and there are things Amy will have shared with you that she hasn't with me. I just need to know, is she okay? Yes, she's absolutely fine, I promise you. <sighs> oh, good. Then she'll tell me anything else in her own time. I was thinking, would your mum like to come to the wedding? I know it must be hard for you, being here instead of at home with her over the holidays. Are you sure? Absolutely. It would be lovely to have her there. It means the world to Amy for you to be here. But it can't be easy. I would so appreciate that, and I'm sure my mum would love to come. Thank you. Actually. How is England? Cold. <laughs> and Oliver Holbrand? Yeah, I think he'll come to the wedding. Well, you don't seem that excited. I'm just worried he won't be very impressed. The best man, Dylan, he's really into crafts and handmade touches. It's just not my style at all. Everything you do is impressive, Emma. As this is Amy's big day, what she would want should take priority. Yeah, that's what Dylan said too. But Oliver Halbrand is a really big deal. What if I mess it up? You won't. How can you mess it up when your heart's in the right place? You know what would really help me? 
if you were here. Oh, I'd really love to be there with you, honey, but... Megan said it was okay. Really? Really, she was the one who suggested that you might want to be here. Oh, that's really nice. Will you come? I would love to share Amy's big day with you. Let me see what I can do and I'll get back to you, okay? Your fingers crossed. Gotta go. Very important wedding dress business being decided without me. I love you. Love you. Bye. Frozen. Now, come and have a warm drink. Oh, sorry, we can't stay long. Uh, what my friend here means to say is we wanted to ask a favour real quick. Sorry. Long day. Oh, no worries, mate. Must be difficult with the task of the talent show. But like I said earlier, anything I can help with, give us a shout. Well, funny you should say that. Um, Dylan? Actually, there is something you could help us out with in a big way. Well, I'm all ears. Well, there's gonna be so much snow on Sunday that some of the kids, they've been told they can't go. So. And we wondered if we could use the pub. We would use the hall, but it's all set up for the wedding. Oh, I'm not sure I can. I mean, it's Christmas. I, I can't close the pub, but it's my busiest time. Oh, my granddaughter was so excited about it. We're gonna tell Lucy, she's been practicing for weeks. It's okay, it's okay, we'll, we'll think of something. Hang on, hang on a second. See, the, the children's choir, they normally come here at Christmas time, perform a few songs. Now, if they don't mind the snow, perhaps you could get them to sing at the Christmas market. And then Lucy and all the other kids can join in if they want to. You know someone that we can talk to? Of course. Kate, she runs it. I'll talk to her. Oh, really? Oh, of course. Now, I don't want to hear another word about it. All right. Oh! Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people in this village would do a lot for you, if you let them. Now, have a drink. And then Lucy came on the screen wearing this little fedora hat, and she looked so funny. I think, I think that was the first time we really bonded. Well, you seemed pretty comfortable with everyone in the cottage last night. Weirdly, I, I think you being there made all the difference. How so? I'm just so comfortable around you. It made me more comfortable to be around everyone else too. Well, I'm honoured. Just fine on your own. So what will you do once the wedding's over? Go back to LA, get back to work, spend time with my mom. Oh wait, did I tell you she might visit for the wedding? Oh, that's great. When does she arrive? Oh, well, I'm waiting for her to let me know, but hopefully tomorrow. You're close with your mom? Ah, super close. She was pretty young when she had me, so she's more like my best friend. We live together, we own the business together. Honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't think. No, no, it's okay. I'm actually quite intrigued by this. So, your mom was how old when she had you? They were both 20. My mom and Peter, my dad, that is. <laughs> they were even married at 19. So in love. And then they had me. They were too young. It didn't work out. And then your dad moved back to England. Right. And I stayed in LA with my mom. And then my dad met Megan, and the rest is history. Oh. So that's why you're skeptical about the wedding. Okay, Sherlock. You know, just because it happened to your mom and dad doesn't mean it's gonna happen to Amy and Harry. Well, I could say the same to you. Go on. Just because you've lost people close to you before 
Doesn't mean you have to isolate yourself in case it happens again. Oh, that's a bit different. Not really. We're both projecting our feelings from past situations onto current ones, even though they're happening in a completely different context. Thank you for trusting me, putting more freedom and creativity into it. I feel like I'm getting my confidence back with this, the markets, with the talent show. It means a lot. So do you think so? No, I think we're the only ones overthinking this. Where's Dylan? What do you like to learn? You're so annoying. I have so much wedding stuff on my mind. I do not have time for your nonsense. He's getting me a comfier chair. He'll be back in a minute. A comfier chair? I know. I feel like the walls are closing in on me. Have you told anyone? Of course not. Because everybody's being suspiciously attentive. <laughs> your Highness. You know, you really didn't need to. Are you ready, partner? Okay, won't be long. Promise. Oh, please, I have my throne now. I'll take as long as you need. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Don't mind me. I just own the place. <laughs> uh. Wow. I can't believe we pulled this off. What do you mean? I thought this was well within your capabilities. Oh, no, this was a stretch, even for me. Well, you kept that well hidden. Well, even a head chef has to look like they're in complete control of their kitchen, even if they're in way over their heads. But having a good sous chef helps. Sorry, sous chef? Mm-hmm. I'll accept nothing less than the title of joint chef. Yeah, that's not a thing. It is now. It's been amazing seeing this place come to life again. Amy and Harry are going to love the handmade feel. I know it's been hard for some of us to let go of our corporate safe zone and micromanaging ways. Hey, it's real nice. But for what it's worth, I'm really proud of what we've managed to do. Yeah, same here. Celebratory drink? Alas, I have plans with the groom. Oh, like a bachelor party? <laughs> I'm not sure that's quite the vibe around here. Unless you want Gerald dancing on the bar. Oh. Got the picture. I don't want to stop you, but I'm going to anyway. It's just, it's the last chance for us to catch up before the children's choir and then the wedding the day after. Oh, say no more. I'm sure you and Harry and definitely not Gerald will have a great time. I would have liked that, though. Would have liked what, though? Um, a drink with you. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, me too. Um, another time? Emma, looking forward to your event. I've been looking at your past work and I think your professional minimalist aesthetic could be a great fit for corporate and personal events at our hotels.
Christmas. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Check you out. Moi. It looks like the people pleaser is back. Oh, just flexing some old muscles. <laughs> Although I think it might be some time before people say something other than, I'll bring you a lasagna sometime. Ah, yes. Nothing says grief like someone leaving a lasagna on your doorstep. <laughs> well, I figured if I start acting like a normal person, people will start treating me like one. So, are you ready for the grand reveal? Yes! <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to get So I was in the cottage last night and I just thought that the Christmas tree would look so much better in the other corner, you know, and take off some of the village ornaments just to, you know, keep it classy. And, and then there would be so much more space for the speeches and less garish decorations taken away from the bride and groom. And then, well, the wreaths were just cluttering the dance floor. So I, I take a look. <laughs> Dylan, wait! What was that? It changed everything. Dylan, I... You know how much this meant to me. I have a conflict of interest. There's a potential client coming to the wedding. A what? He owns this chain of hotels in the UK, and I thought if he came to the wedding and saw what I could do... I'm sorry, this somehow just got worse. He messaged me last night saying how much he liked my style, and I... I panicked. I just thought it would be better to stick to what I know. So this is why you agreed to arrange the wedding? Your sister's wedding? No! No, of course not. I, I wanted to do this for Amy. But it just seemed like too good an opportunity to pass up on. Look, I'm sorry I changed the plans, okay? But there wasn't anything malicious behind it. I actually liked a lot of your ideas. Oh, great. That's just the validation I needed. Yes, it's things that I thought you were bringing out the best of me again, but it's not about me. It's about Harry and Amy and what they would want instead of using other people to further your own agenda. Hey, that, that's not... That's not... No wonder you thought you wouldn't fit in here with these people. They're bigger hearts than you could ever hope to have. You're being unfair. No, Emma. I'd give anything to have my family back. I can't believe you prioritize some client over yours. Dylan said those things to me. I really opened up to him about how I felt being here, and he totally threw it back at me. You did blindside him. Do you have to play devil's advocate right now? Did it cross your mind that he was deflecting from what he was really sad about? And what was that exactly? Everyone saw how well you two were getting along. You really brought him out of his shell, and I think he finally felt like part of a team. Maybe for the first time since his parents died. Oh, am I an awful person? No. Everyone gets it wrong sometimes. What now? I've done something. Mm hmm? I invited a client to your wedding. A potential client uh, from London, Oliver Hellbrand. Okay. And that's why Dylan was so mad. He thought that I was only planning the wedding to impress him and that I was doing it for the wrong reasons. And are you only doing it to impress this new client? I honestly, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. Do you want to know what I think? Yes, please. I think you've just forgotten how to be a family girl. Your whole life is work. And you are so terrified of letting us in, properly into your life, that you've started subconsciously sabotaging any chance of that happening. It doesn't make you a bad person, but hopefully it might make you realise what you could be missing out on. I totally blown it. 
Just think of it this way, if this Oliver Paul brand really likes my wedding, maybe it'll give you more reason to visit. Oh my God, just hearing it out loud, it sounds so ridiculous. I invited a client to your wedding, Ames. Like, it's some kind of public event. I know. You'll figure it out. But make things right with Dylan, because if you don't, you will regret that. Okay, back to me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mum and dad before the wedding. It just doesn't feel right not telling them on the day. So, I'm gonna... You have my full support, whatever you want to do. Thanks, Mom. Okay, honey. Right, sorry to break up this party, but we need to go. Uh, do I have to go? Yes, we're going to support Lucy. Uh, you're right. Big smiles. <laughs> sure you don't want to come, Nina? No, no, I'll stay and unpack. Thank you. Hey, where's Harry? Oh, he's going to meet us there. Work finished late. But now he's officially finished for Christmas, the fun can begin. Ooh. So much fun. Amy told me something went down between you and Emma. Care to share? I guess we just don't see eye to eye. I thought you were seeing eye to eye. Had more in common than you thought, etc., etc. All right, don't start. Hey, your words, not mine, buddy. I just don't get it. The other night you seemed so excited about the potential there. What potential? She lives in LA and I live here. She's an emotionless corporate cog in a machine and I'm... Well, I'm too emotionally involved with everything for my own good. Okay. Starting to see why you fell out. For the record, I didn't say that to Emma. Yeah, good. Look, you know, I hate to be the one to say this, but do you think you maybe overreacted a little? Didn't you hear what I said? She lives on the other side of the world. It never would have worked anyway. Remember what your mum used to say? Anything worth even a 1% chance deserves 100% of that chance. Maths never was her strong suit. Damn, why are you always right? Oh, it's so cold here in the UK. Uh, tell me about it. I'm nervous. Everything's gonna be okay. I've got everything covered, remember? All you have to do is enjoy yourself. Let's get you ready. Okay. <laughs> A 
Any idea what you can do about Emma? Oh, there's still so many things I'm not sure about. Then talk to her. When? Now. Harry, it's your wedding day. I'm not going to abandon you to go and sort something out that may not even be sortable. You're right. It is my wedding day. And as groom to best man, I am ordering you to talk to her. All right, don't get too big for your boots. Don't single-handedly ruin my wedding day. Bit dramatic. <laughs> There. Happy? Right. Now, I don't know about these. Are they the right... Oh, God, it's Emma. See? Oh, I told you! Come here. I'll be right back. Proud of you, mate. I'm so... Let me go first. I am so sorry for what I said. I think you have a bigger heart than anybody's ever given you credit for. And I was wrong to make you question that. I'm so sorry. I totally missed the whole reason why you were hurt. We were meant to be a team and I went behind your back. I'm just so used to doing everything by myself being okay by myself. I guess I forgot how to have a teammate. And you were right. I was totally missing the point of all of this. I noticed nothing's changed. Harry and Amy will love it. I projected my problems onto you. I just hope you can forgive me. I have no idea what this means for you, for us. But I put up this barrier because I am so scared of the emotions that I know I'm capable of having, that I did have when my parents died. Forgiven. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I don't want to have to stand over there with the best man who refuses to talk to me. It'd be super awkward. Well, I'd be getting back to the groom. And me to the bride. See you up there. Let's do this, partner. Emma, you look amazing. Everything looks amazing. <laughs> hey, no crying yet. <laughs> it's the hormones. <laughs> It means everything to have you here with me. I love Harry so much and I cannot wait to welcome him and the little one into the family. To the family. Are you okay? Did the famous Oliver Hall brand ever turn up? Any minute now. This makes quite an impression. Not quite what I'd imagined, I have to admit. Well, it's not usually the type of event I would plan. <laughs> it's, um, it's actually my sister's wedding. So it's a little more handmade than I would usually go for. Your sister's wedding? Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> my younger sister? Well, the personal touch is uh, something special. It's refreshing, and I like it. I'm afraid I'm going to have to bow out of the actual ceremony. Oh, why? It's Christmas Eve. I didn't come just to approve an exit. I have family in this part of the country that I'm on my way to see. Well, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. Not at all. This really is remarkable, Emma. Merry Christmas, and congratulations to your sister. Thank you.
We are gathered here to witness the joining of two souls, the solidifying of a bond between two people committing to spend their lives together. Do we have the vows? Yes, I'm going first. Otherwise, I won't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, since the moment I first met you, I knew you were special. You understood and appreciated me for who I am. Nothing more, nothing less. I know I'm not the most reliable or practical person, <laughs> but you ground me. You center me. You make me the best version of myself. And I always want you by my side. In a nutshell, you're stuck with me forever. <laughs> best Christmas present ever, folks. Emmy Taylor, you are one of a kind a force of nature and my whole world. You're my best friend and I am beyond honored to be here with you, surrounded by all of our loved ones. You've all been there to share with all the adventures we've had so far and I know you'll be here for all the adventures still to come. Let's do this. Stay, which I'm actually really glad about. I want to spend more time here, but for myself, not for anyone else. A real holiday. I was thinking maybe a proper 50-50 between being here and being in LA. 80 20 in favor of England is a much better idea to me. You might actually like LA. Does it snow? Never. Do they have roasted chestnuts on the open fire? Do they have an annoying, yet infinitely charming wedding planner that I could maybe take out the museum? I can see what I can do. 